Hey guys, so I decided to try out a new video recording software for my screen. A, I was trying, I tried out in my previous video to record a replay of a decent game. And that did not go well. In my opinion, I did not see it as a success. So, today I am back at it again with the screen recording aspect of it I just decided to use a different screen recorder and see how it goes so let's hit the sun on the rocks I'm setting up a 3.7 3.3 to 3.7 American lineup right now I don't exactly know what I'm going to be bringing that is an, an utter lie I know exactly what I'm going to be going to be bringing so let's get into it and see uh, what all trouble we can get into Shall we? We should get into a game relatively quickly. Hurtgen Forest. So right now, I am solo playing. So forgive me if I'm not... Okay, game plan. I'm going to spawn. Just bum rush A... And then sneak in through these buildings in and around here and wait for people to p cross the main roads and try and make my way over and cut these guys off at Charlie on this main road where my reddit, my mouse is. And hopefully that gives me an edge. Gives, sorry, my team an edge. <clears throat> I took too long to explain and spawn, so... <clears throat> KV2. That's a nasty little tank right there. If you hit center mass with that tank, you can overpressure basically anything, especially at this battle rating. So you may hear a faint humming in the background. That's actually my computer. So please forgive that if you can. Come on, KV1. I gotta get to the point. Alrighty. T-50's already lighting up targets. Oh, dear. I knew I was going to die, but I just needed the points to get a bomber. I want to get bombs in. Which is exactly what I'm doing, which I don't have the points. But I do have the points to spawn in the P-36. I usually don't jump into a plane right off the bat, but I've discovered that it's a decent way to take out lightly armored targets like that flak truck over there. Enemy forces have captured their zone. Defend the C point. What the hell? <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so I don't know what kind of anti-air they have, so I'm probably going to come in low and fast. So the P-3060G is a low-speed, excellent dogfighter with okay armament. You've got to be precise with your shots and set your gun convergence closer to your aircraft than you would on a more conventional fighter that's uh, geared towards boom and zoom. So... Be taking all of this into mind, into a, a account, I guess you would say. This is strictly for anti-aircraft, this plane is. But I use it for ground because at this battle rating there's a lot of lightly armored targets that I can take out with 50s if I can find them. I just need an armored car. I'm getting shot at by anti-air. Oh shit, I didn't even hit that house, did I? Mm. We don't have the advantage anymore. Mm. 
<laughs> the repeated sigh of discontent. Forgive me for that, that's... I swear I didn't hit that guy at that house. I've been gaijined. That's okay. My job. Hit him. Reload these 50s, I need to kill this guy. This guy's more dangerous than the fighter. No hits. Damn, I should have stayed up in the air with my dogfighter. Because now we need it. I need to get off the main road is what I need to do. This is a good vantage point. Oh, I nailed him. He's still flying well, though. Took his left wing control. He should be going down, hopefully. Bombs are out. Oh no, that's a piece of Sorry if I'm jerking the mouse around a lot and you guys are trying to focus on me. There are so many air targets right now. Drop artillery over here. Bring it. That's a doe. Oh yeah, I did some decent damage to him there. Come on, crash baby. Crash for me baby. I feel like I'm just keeping the planes at bay, keeping them off of our our uh, spawn for the most part. Mm. That looks like he's coming right at me. Shot the dough down. Reloading, I hit him. 
Oh, the wonders of anti-air. Dropping 50s on targets from miles away. Well, not that far, but... Got him. You're, but, you're done, buddy. There goes his other engine. Dumping 50, he's got another one. That's three targets. Where's the other guy? I know there's another one, I can hear him. We get a friendly air up, but he can't dogfight, it's a V-156. And he's getting smacked by anti-air pretty bad, actually. Artillery. Drop artillery on Charlie and I'll move in. I've got enough spawn points to come in the tank if I have to, but let me see if I can get a couple more points with this thing. I've got 800 round magazines, so each gun has 200 rounds. There's the guy. There he is. Hello, buddy. He's dead. You get enough practice with these 50s, you can hit almost any target with them. Aisle 2. Here. I know there's only a couple viewers and only a couple subscribers, but if you guys want to see me play the Russian tanks, let me know and I can bring out something like the KV-2 and obliterate some targets. I know in the beginning I said that I would be bringing out a different variety of tanks, but when it comes down to it, I just started having fun with the 50s and the enemies kept spawning in planes, so. Ooh, if it's a Puma, I can kill it with 50 cals. That's a dead Puma. It looks like they're trying to make a push back and drop artillery on Bravo. All sorts of artillery dropping on Charlie. Where is he? Oh, I can't even shoot back now, that's okay. <sighs> Relentless with those 20 mils, man. I'm gonna bring bombs just because I have the time. Two 500 pounders should do it. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. They're taking Alpha. We need tanks on the ground and something with armor. This is a pretty decent game, actually. No, I'm gonna drop artillery on Alpha. I think it's a Panzer IV, but I don't know. So, if you're asking why there's bushes all over all of my tanks, it's because it helps hide weak points from a distance from whoever is attempting to shoot you. Uh, that guy's gonna die. He's right here, buddy. man the 
One. Where's your friend with the 20s? I see him. I see him around the building on the left side. I don't know if you guys do. Fifties. Repairing. No need to repair. We did lose a crew member though. Two crew members actually. Shit. Oh man, I keep cursing. I gotta stop that. I didn't see him till the last second. Should have been more vigilant. Um, Sherman or bombs? Bombs. No, Sherman. Yeah, Sherman. It's got a faster... Less penetration, but it's got a faster turret traverse, and it moves faster. So, we're going to drop artillery on Alpha once again. Drop it down into combat gear, which is first gear. We have a single plane stabilizer on the Sherman, which should come in handy if I'm not stupid. Actually, I'm going to screw the combat gear. I'm going to upshift. It should get behind this house as fast as possible. That's what I was afraid of right there. It doesn't matter if you in the same spot. Damn it. We killed each other. I jerked my mouse too fast. Damn, I could have had that shot, too. That's okay, I got an M10. This game's over, and we lost. I'm sorry, boys. I tried. This happens so often. Good game. Just shot an ally there. It was just automatic habit. I just saw a plane and started shooting at it. Alright, well, we had a decent game. Thank you guys for staying and watching. I'm hoping this new recording software actually does this job. Um, have a wonderful day. And uh, why don't you all take it easy, huh?